Hello everyone, this is Andrew again, and now we're going to discuss PLC Programming Training for Beginner Part 10. Okay, let's start. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one lamp. If PB1 is pressed, lamp 1 will blink, one second on, one second off. After lamp 1 blinks three times, it will turn off. Then, lamp 2 will blink 1 second on, 1 second off. After the lamp 2 blink 3 times, it will remain on. If PB2 is pressed, lamp 2 will turn off. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Okay, that's it. Now let's press PB2. Now, I want you to post this video and try to do it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare to your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this exercise. Let's press PB1. As you can see here, there's a latching here. And because M0 here is activated, T0 will be activated after one second. Then, Y0 will be activated. Because Y0 is activated, the count value of C0 increases. And after that, T1 will be activated after 1 second. And because T1 is activated, the normally close contact of T1 here will be open. And that will cause T0 to deactivate and Y0 as well. And because T1 is deactivated right now, the normally close contact of T1 will go back to its initial state. And because of that, T0 here will be activated after 1 second again, and the cycle will repeat. And let's assume that the count value here is equivalent to the set value. If the count value is equivalent to the set value, it will make the counter 0 to be activated. And because of that, it will make a signal diversion from Y0 to Y1. T0 will be activated after 1 second. And because T0 is activated, Y1 will turn on. And T1 will be activated after 1 second. And because T1 is now activated, the normally closed contact of T1 will be open. And because T1 is open, T0 will be deactivated. And because T1 is deactivated, the normally close contact of T1 will go back to its initial state. Because the normally close contact of T1 is activated again, T0 will be activated again. And the cycle will repeat. Let's assume that the set value of C1 is equivalent to the count value. It means counter 1 will be activated and timer 0 will be activated after 1 second. Y1 will turn on. And as you can see here, T1 will not be activated anymore. That's why the cycle will stop. And the only way to turn it off is by pressing PB2. And that's it. Now let's go to our simulation. Let's press PB1. And now let's press PB2.
that's it and now let's go to exercise 2 create a pills program given the following conditions you have one push button and three lamps if pb1 is pressed the process will start if the process repeat three times the process will stop now let's have our demonstration let's press pb1 Now, I want you to post this video and try to do it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Let's have our program analysis. Now, let's press PB1. As you can see here, there's a latching for M0. And because of that, Y0 will turn on. And T0 will be activated after 1 second. And because T0 is activated, the normally closed contact of T0 here will be open. That will cause Y0 to turn off. And because the normally open contact of T0 is activated, Y1 will be activated. And timer 1 will be activated after 1 second. And because timer 1 is activated here, the normally closed contact of T1 will be open. And that will cause Y1 to turn off. And it will cause Y2 to turn on. And T2 will be activated after 1 second. And because T2 is activated, the count value of C0 will increase. And the normally closed contact of T2 here will be open and that will cause T0, T1, and T2 to deactivate. And because T2 here is deactivated, the normally closed contact of T2 here will go back to its initial state. And the cycle will repeat. And as you can see here, if we completed the count of C0, the normally closed contact of C0 here will make M0 to turn off and that will make the process to turn off. And now let's go to our simulation. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. And now let's go to exercise 3. Now, create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and three lumps. If PB1 is pressed, process 1 will start. If PB2 is pressed, process will stop. If process 1 performs three consecutive cycle, process 2 will start. If process 2 performs 3 consecutive cycle, process 1 will start again. As you can see here, there are two processes. You need to perform both of the process alternately after performing each process 3 times. Now let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. And that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to do it by yourself. Then after that, 
you can resume this video so that you can compare to your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Now let's have our program analysis. Let's press PB1. As you can see here, M0 will be activated and there will be a latching. And because M0 is activated, M1 will be activated. And that will cause Y2 to be activated because C0 here is not yet activated and M1 here is activated. Then T0 here will be activated after one second. Because T0 is activated, M1 will turn off. And then normally open contact of T0 here will be closed. And that will cause M2 to be activated. And because of that, Y1 will be activated here. And T1 will be activated after one second. And because T1 is activated, M2 will turn off. And T1 here will turn on and that will cause M3 to be activated and because M3 is activated Y0 will turn on and T2 will be activated after one second and as you can see because T2 is activated the count value for C0 will increase and the normally close contact of T2 here will turn off and that will cause T0, T1 and T2 to be deactivated and because T2 here is deactivated that will cause the normally close contact of T2 here to go back to its initial state and the cycle will repeat now let's assume that the count value of counter 0 is complete as you can see here there is a diversion between y0 and y2 and here because m0 is on t2 is on and t0 is on it will cause m0 to turn on Because M1 here is on, Y0 will turn on. While ago, because C0 is not yet activated, it will turn on Y2 instead of Y0 because of the contact of the counter here. But as you can see right now, because C0 is activated, Y0 will turn on instead of Y2. And now T0 will be activated after one second. Because T0 is activated, the normally closed contact of T0 will be open and the normally open contact of T0 will be closed and that will cause M2 to turn on. And because M2 is on, Y1 will turn on. T1 will be activated after one second. Because T1 is activated, normally closed T1 will be open. And the normally open contact of T1 will turn on and that will cause M3 to turn on. And as you can see here, Y2 will turn on because M3 is activated and T2 will be activated after one second. Because T2 is activated, the normally closed contact of T2 here will be open. And as you can see, C1 will increase its count value. Because T2 here is open, it will cause T0, T1, and T2 to be deactivated. And because T2 is deactivated, the normally closed T2 here will turn on again. And the cycle will repeat. Now let's assume that the count value of C1 is complete. Because the count value of C1 is complete, it will automatically reset both of the counters. And because both of the counters is reset, all of their contact will go back to its initial state. 
and as you can see right now the cycle of this program will repeat the process will continue unless we press PB2 okay that's it now let's have our simulation Okay, that's it. Now let's go to the next slide. Okay, we have a message. Dear viewers, I want to inform you that this will be the last video for this chapter, PLC Programming Training, Student Beginner. A new chapter will start soon. PLC Programming Training, Student Intermediate, which involves pneumatic cylinders and lead switch. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please like and share my YouTube videos and like my Facebook page. Please click see first on our Facebook page to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please comment nice. Please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video. Please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video. And if you think that this video needs some improvement, just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video. I will use all of your comment, negative comment, suggestion and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos. Thank you for all the feedbacks and thank you again. See you next time.